Hello, this is the Agros Wall, and welcome back to Fallout New Vegas. We just entered Boomer Territory, and we got whisked away to meeting Pearl, the elder of the Boomer Territory. Um, yeah. Uh, she was like, she, she was waiting for an outsider to come visit us, and for five years, so. Those howitzers of ours aren't just for entertainment, child. Explosive ordnance is what keeps the savages at a distance. Except you. There's something special about you, child. And it was the howitzers that gave you a chance to show it. Well, I got quite a bit of health. Um. Oh, so many ways. Small ones to begin with, so we can get used to what it's like to have a sav- uh, outsider around and about. Should that go well, it may be you can help in big ways, too. We'll have to see. Uh-huh. You have to keep in mind that you're our first contact with the outside world since I was barely a woman. Seclusion has kept us safe, but the world around us is changing. Neon lights in the distance, patrolling robots, soldiers. My youngers think our guns can keep out the world, but I think we need to let it in just a little or become its victim. You're that little bit of the world, child. Welcome to Nellis. Ooh, I'm a little bit of the world. Isn't that nice? Uh, where do I start? You picked a good time to stop by, for we're swimming in problems. My youngers can tell you all about it. Raquel could use help with the bug problem. Doc Argyle has wounded he's tending to. And Loyal and Jack might be looking for help with some repairs. Or you could just go see Pete at the museum and hear the story of our people. All you have to do there is listen. Let's Come do and go that. as you like, help or don't help, I leave it up to you. But I hope you'll show my youngers that not every outsider needs to be blown up. Cool. Um I'm still I still have my stealth boy activated from last episode. That's that's cute. Um I just wanted to change my quest so it's not Doing this, um, Valer, help the boomers run us. So we're gonna go to the museum because that sounds fun. Who doesn't like a good old-fashioned museum? Sorry, no time to talk, outsider. Okay, some fancy get up you got there. Um, oh, sunset says put a roar off. Now I th think the museum's over here. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's one of these buildings. Well, barrack-like buildings. Oh! Did that- oh, wow. <laughs> I didn't expect that to say museum. Hey, you? You're the outsider. Mother Pearl sent word that you be stopping by. You must be eager to hear the story of our people. Yeah. Who are you? Me? I'm Pete, keeper of the story. Oh. I know I seem kind of young. I was the apprentice keeper of the story until a couple months ago, but old keeper Don, well, he died. Whiskey and landmines don't go together. Oh. So it's up to me. Oh. I bet you want to know everything about us. Yes, I do. Um. Wonderful. I'm sure you've noticed the mirror on the wall of this hut. Shall I tell you what it all means? Sure. Excellent. Imagine you're the first outsider to ever hear our tale. <clears throat> Okay, good. Oh boy, that's a mural. Let's have a ago, oh, there we go. Long before I was born, we lived underground. Everyone had guns, but the overseer wouldn't let us explode anything, not even a hand grenade. We left and wandered the wastes. There were savages with knives. We blew them up with frag mines and grenades, burned them with flamethrowers. It was neat, but there was a downside. For every 43.6 savages we killed, we lost one of our own. We needed a new home. We needed Nellis. Mm-hmm. Here we have prospered and multiplied. Here our mighty guns destroy any savages who might try to harm us before they can even reach our gates. Well, until... <laughs> not saying you want to harm us or you're a savage, 
But anyways, Nellis has revealed many secrets. It has taught us how to fly the bombers once based here, and it has taught us where to find one. Ooh. And that's our story so far. But this last image is our future. To restore the bomber, to fly the open skies in armored safety, bringing high explosive ordnance upon ignorant savages. This is our destiny. I'm pleased that you listened to the entire story. Perhaps there are details you'd like to know more about. Let me know. Uh, ooh, I can fame. <laughs> okay. Um. Okay, let's start uh, dealing with some of these this place's problems. Um. Should head into this factory then. I mean, warehouse factory. Where did I get that from? Has has there been any factories I've visited? I don't think so. Yeah. It's quite a big place considering it's like a military airport. Um Ooh, just a bunch of children. Hello, child. Whoa. You're the outsider? What are you doing here? Um Sure. Wow. You sound awesome. I didn't really answer your question, but oh I can't oh god, child, what are you doing? Hey. Do you have any toys outside of here? I sure could use some. Um. I bet you can get a fun game of boomers and targets. That is a neat idea. I'll be the spotter. I'll find someone to play the target. Good. Roar! You. I'm a dinosaur. Nope, you're just a skittering around kid. Um. Ooh, you know a lot about dinosaurs. Sure. Hi. I don't know about a velociraptor. Where are you going, child? I need to impress you. Halt! You must pay the toll to pass. Very well, traveler. You may pass. <laughs> oh, okay. You laugh without moving your mouth. That's not creepy at all. Hello. Um. Hey there, mister. Can you help me find Mr. Cuddles? Mr. Cuddles is my teddy. I lost him, and I don't remember where. Can I just use my charisma to get out of this? Thanks. Let me know when you find him. <laughs> it worked for all the other ones. Ooh, hello, mister. Watch your step, sister. Oh. Apparently I'm a sister now. Wait, why is it... Okay. 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 Watch your step, sister. See, that was actually a female. I'm not. But he's a robot, so I'll let it slide. Let's enter this building then. Can't enter. Uh, I have to take the long way around. Boop. Dodd hangar. That's what it's called. Not a warehouse, not a factory hangar. Ooh, that's a destroyed aircraft. And this is a whole bunch of loot that I can't access. My sock is bugging me currently. In case you wanted to know. Uh, there's somebody. Hey, hello. I hope Pearl knows what she's doing, letting you wander around Nellis as you please. Um, well, if you guys didn't, I'd just kill you all. So, you know, this sounds like a better option. If that's so, how about you look into repairing the solar arrays on the roof of the generator building? What now? Nothing too complicated about it, but it's a long ways to walk my old bones, and there's been that ant problem over near there. You can't miss the array. It's on top of the generator building smack dab in the middle of Nellis between the two runways. Good. Um. Ha! If we had spare parts, do you think I'd be asking you to fix the damn things? That's rich. What? I thought oh, it was because you were old. A while back. And Jack and I have been doing our best to patch the arrays up as best we can. Sadly, we're at our wit's end. There have to be spare parts somewhere around the wasteland. But I just don't know where to direct you. You may have noticed we don't get out much. Uh huh. I'll be, be back. Be sure to stop on back and let me know when the array. Yep. Um. So I talked to him. Need to talk to a few other people though. They all seem to be outside. One person's over there apparently. Um. Oh. Hello. So you're the outsider. 
lived your whole life out there, huh? Wow. I always what, thought you think I lived here and left? A different language. But I hear you sound like us. Um, I wish there was an option that just went hooga booga hooga. Um. What I could use is some scrap metal. It may not sound exciting, but around here we have to recycle every rivet and plate. The other thing, you being from the outside and all, well, I guess you'd call it a personal matter, but... Uh, well, uh forget it. Speech 35. That must be nice. Sharing yourself like that, not being embarrassed or anything. Well, the thing is, there's this girl. Ooh. <laughs> what a dick move, but I'll, I'll. Oh, you can't miss her. She has short red hair, and she's the most beautiful woman who ever lived. Uh huh. You really talk to her for me? What if she feels the same way? What if she comes here like you did? What if she gets blown up? Oh. What if she doesn't like me? Oh. Oh, jeez. Uh, I better just let you handle it. I'm better with machines. They don't make my stomach queasy like this. Okay. That would be amazing. As in, I would thank you forever. Mm-hmm. Ooh, a note added his love story. What is this, like his diary or something? Jack's love story. Jack, let me know there is a girl who's interested in cri at the Cribs caravan. You now she has red hair, but that's all I know is like my doctor. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Um. Uh, other people are this way. Can't walk in between those. I already learned that. Um, that's the little kid. Um. I think that's where the s I don't know. Let's just head over here. Because we seem to have a quest in this direction. There's a quest in that direction as well. That might be... Is it that? I don't know. All I know is there's a quest over here. That's the museum. That's what that quest marker is. This is... I don't know what this is. I think this is the person I need to talk to about the ant pro oh no medical station I think this is something else then I know mother pro is letting you wander Nellis as you please outsider but I have patients to tend to mm-hmm I'm afraid <laughs> medications are in short supply okay um okay sir. sorry friend we really don't have a need for wasteland currency around here okay Ooh. I have three patients here who were gravely injured fighting those giant ants in the generator building a few days ago I've stabilized their wounds, but they're in bad shape. Do you have medical training? Nope, but I'm gonna lie. Well, I don't know, actually. I suppose it's <laughs> possible. You should take a look. Okay. Oh, well, this leveled me up so I can... Ah, uh, I thought that leveled me up so I can do medical stuff. Attempt to treat him. And it's, it's time to put in, but it's clear that the leg will never be able to fully Are function. Are you exaggerating your knowledge of medicine? Even I would have known not to do that. Um. Yeah, I think I'll skedaddle then. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to kill any more patients. Or, you know. Um, in all. I don't, I don't know. I don't want to break any, I don't want to disrupt the use of any more patients legs um <laughs> what are you exaggerating about your medical skills no I, I i i just i just you know did my best and you know sometimes that kid's doing his thing maybe i operated that on that kid but i just don't remember it it all makes it doesn't make sense but it all makes sense now uh this airbase is so big it takes forever to walk from one side to the other very annoying. Very annoying. Jump. Um, so it was already in here, but there's two arrows that's near here, so is that... Does that mean that, you know, one's in a different spot? Okay, one's right here. Where's that? That goes... Ah, oh, that goes to the museum. I thought there was another one. Is there still people to talk to in here? 
I didn't think so, because that's hospital, that's lore, and these are the two guys in here, and then that's the ant hill. So let's find Jack's love interest. She's apparently at the caravan place, which I'll head to right now. But I'll actually just end the episode here. This has been the Icarus One playing Fallout New Vegas. I hope you enjoyed, and goodbye.